the whole reason that I've done this and I've put myself out there and I've tried to share this is because I'm somebody who was lost in the darkness, but I found light, I found hope, and I find a, found a way to live again. Other than that, I feel like you made everything else look easy. So essentially she said every part of 75 hard was the hardest for me, but I made everything else look easy. <laughs> That's two miles and I'm hurting y'all. I'm not gonna lie, but I just keep telling myself, you will not fail. Uh, pretty sure y'all probably couldn't hear it because I think there was a big wind noise, but she said I'm sexier. Her, <laughs> her words, not mine, but. <laughs> go, keep going. There's a little alligator right there. Can y'all see that? <laughs> I would rather pass out or die than not accomplish what I set my mind to. He has spoken blasphemy. Why do we need any more witnesses? Look, now you have heard the blasphemy. What do you think? He is worthy of death. Wherever you are today, I promise you, I promise you, you're more than you think you are. I promise you, you're more than anything anybody's ever said about you. I promise you, you are more than you think you can be. You just gotta get back up. Good morning. And just like that, day 75 is upon us. Well, let's do it. I just want to show you all this because I think it would be so cool that here on day 75, if I hit 200 subscribers, well, on the morning of the 75th day, I'm at 199 subscribers. I begin every day by reading my Bible, reading my 10 pages, journaling, and then spending a little bit of time in Duolingo. All right. Before we get ready to go out and do this 5K, this is the first 5K that I ran on day one. This was my first 5K back after taking over a year off. 45 minutes, 9 seconds. You can see my heart rate was just spiked. It would be in the red and then I'd have to walk a little bit and be in the red and have to walk a little bit. So 45 minutes on day one, uh, 45 minutes and nine seconds to be exact. Then on day 26, which was February the 9th, I went out and I ran a 5k again and I improved my time to 35 minutes and 14 seconds. So I improved by almost 10 minutes. And again, we come down here and we look at my heart rate i was just pegged out man totally pegged out the whole time but i didn't have to walk any and then on february the 24th i went out and i ran my latest 5k and i improved my time to 31 minutes and 45 seconds right there and again you can see my heart rate was just maxed out the whole way and I have not run another time-based 5K since then. So it's been almost a month, because that was February the 24th. And today is March the 29th. Let's see what we can do. Okay, before I go out and sweat buckets or anything like that, there's a couple things that I want to do this morning since it is day 75. One of those is I want to jump on my home scale, get on there, and see what it says. Two sixteen point four. Next thing that I want to do is I want to check my waist measurement with the measuring tape. Okay, so here we go. This is right at my belly button, and I will try to see if I can find a way to let you be able to see what this is measuring in at. So here, right at my belly button, 42 inches, right at 42 inches. That is my current waist measurement. And so now, because I can't remember off the top of my head what those measurements were, 
Uh, let's go and look at my day zero video and see where we were uh, whenever we started. Myself on my own scale, and everybody can kind of see that. So here on my own scale, 231.4 is what that read. Yeah, 231.4 um, right now. But like I say, I have been kind of eating good. Okay, so I redid this measurement without trying to fumble around with the camera. And uh, yeah, it's, it's 48 and a half, not 47 and a half. Okay, so here's what those actually come out to. Starting official home scale weight on day one of 75 heart, 231.4 to 216.4, 15 pounds lost. Now, y'all know I haven't really just been paying attention to the scale because I've gained muscle and I lost a lot of fat in there. And I think that the waist measurement really tells the more clear story because my waist went from 48 and a half inches to 42 inches. That is six and a half inches lost in my waist, y'all. Six and a half inches. And on top of that, if you remember and you look back, I started eating clean a week prior to starting 75 hard. And at that time, I weighed in, I believe, around 236, which would actually put me right at like 20 pounds of weight lost since I started eating clean again and moving again. But overall, I mean, it's that waist measurement, I think, that I put the most um, merit into. So, uh, yeah, not uh, not bad. Still got a long ways to go, y'all. Still got a long ways to go. But for 75 days, that, that six and a half inches lost in my waist. Yeah, I'll definitely take that. I was just, I was just getting ready to, to suit up to go do the run, y'all. And look, 200, 200 on day 75. Come on, y'all. Come on, somebody. That's awesome. That is awesome. All right. That just pumped me up. That just pumped me up. Ooh, I got to make sure and stretch it out real good today, y'all. I know you probably can't see, but I can touch my toes now. <laughs> All right, here's the plan. I'm gonna walk for about 10 minutes to just get my body warmed up a little bit. Then after that 10 minutes, we're gonna hit it. And uh, I would love to do this 5K in under 30 minutes. We'll see. I don't know if I can or not. But that's kind of what uh, what I'm aiming for. See how it goes. You know, once I start running, I'm not going to record much. So I just want to say here on day 75, man, I didn't realize whenever I started this that I would be ending this on Good Friday. Um, that was just kind of a I guess, you know, um, a divinely appointed coincidence because I can't think of a better day to go out and give my all in the final stretch, you know. If you've watched, if you've watched any of my videos, you know that I wouldn't be where I am today if it weren't for my faith. And you know that the whole reason that I've done this and I've put myself out there and I've tried to share this is because I'm somebody who was lost in the darkness, but I found light, I found hope, and I find a, found a way to live again. And I just hope that if you're out there and you're at a place where you feel like your life is too broken or you've made too many mistakes or you're lost in grief, heartache, whatever it is, that no matter your circumstance, there is hope beyond any darkness you may be facing. And. For me, I have that hope because of what took place on this day, you know, so many years ago. Because Jesus came down and he was broken for us so that he could bear the weight of all my sin and all my shame and I could be restored and redeemed and I could have hope for the future. What a fitting day.
All right, guys, we're off. Let's go. Let's knock this 5K out. Day 75, we're giving it all we got. We just passed the one mile marker. Right now, I'm just praying and I'm just asking God for the strength to do what I got to do this morning because it's not my strength. Everything in me is more than enough because the Spirit of Christ lives within me. Everything I got. That's two miles and I'm hurting y'all. I'm not gonna lie, but I just keep telling myself, you will not fail. You're gonna stand in the moment you set your sights on. I will do this. I will do this. Okay, that's three miles. Final push. Everything you got, Chris. Everything you got. Go. Everything you got. Everything left. Go. Keep going. Okay, look at that y'all, 27 minutes, 15 seconds. Here's the splits, first mile was 820, second mile was 854, third mile was 907. Heart rate was pegged out the whole way, the whole way. I told you I'd do it. Like, and I think that may be the fastest 5K I've ever done. I'll have to check. I know that I've done one in the 27 mark, but I'll have to check. <sighs> check this out. You earned this award with a new fastest 5K time of 27.10 on 3.29. 24. It's the fastest one I've ever done. You know, you can see me, I'm starting to get a little emotional because uh, I don't ever go into these things with 100% confidence that I'll be successful, but I do go in with belief in myself and that I would rather pass out or die than not accomplish what I set my mind to. And I just kept telling myself, you've done the work, you know, all these low heart rate runs and everything that, you know, people may not understand why I was doing those and not pushing myself, you know, to the maximum every day, but it was, I was trying to be smart and I knew I did the work and I knew that I've done the work for the past 75 days mentally to be where I need to be for this. You know, whenever I ran my last, my previous fastest 5K, I was about 20 pounds lighter than I am right now. Man. You know, I'm, uh, I'm having a hard time really not getting emotional right now. Um, because, you know, this day 75, this is me getting back up to my feet again, again. Uh, I've been knocked down in life. I've fallen down in life. 
and for different reasons, you know, and this last time I, uh, I lost myself by finding peace for the first time in so many years. And uh, I just didn't have that drive. I didn't have that fight in me anymore because I wasn't at war with my mind. And I had to find a reason to get back up and get healthy again. And starting 75 hard was, you know, me trying to get back up to my feet. And here I am on day 75. I just ran the fastest 5K I've ever run. You know, like in the beginning, it felt like, gosh, I've fallen so far away from where I was. I'd just run two marathons and everything. And here I am, you know, I feel like I'm, uh, I'm, I'm better than I ever was now at this point. I'm carrying more muscle. I have a lot less fat. I'm not as light, you know, as I was, but I'm more athletic. Obviously, I'm doing things that I, that, that were so hard for me, you know, and I'm, I'm reaching new levels, y'all. This is, this is it. This is what it means to get back up. That's why I say it all the time, you know, like, and you know, I'm, I'm so freaking proud of myself, not only for taking on the challenge of 75 hard again and completing it, but also, you know, documenting it every day and committing myself to editing these videos and posting them and, you know, and laying myself bare before the world. I have tried to give the most authentic look into not only my journey through 75 hard, but just my life as a whole and who I am as a person. And that's scary, y'all. You know, that's, it's terrifying really. And I'm so proud of myself that I finally acted on this thing that I've felt in my heart for so long that I needed to do. And that was to share light to the world, share my story, the good parts, the bad parts, and hopefully, you know, encourage and inspire people and lead people into light out of the darkness. You know, that's my whole mission. I'm so proud of myself for what I've done these past 75 days. And I think that that's one thing. If you take nothing from this, like, you know, this has been a hard 75 days, but man, we deprive ourselves of the feeling I have right now. Like we deprive ourselves of that so much by not taking on hard things, by not challenging ourselves, by not pushing our limits. And y'all, I promise you, standing in these moments where you've done something you never thought you could do or where you've persevered and you've pushed through, these moments are worth everything. These moments are worth everything. And I don't want to forget that. So I'm saying that right now on camera so that one day if I need to look back and I need to get back up again, I can remember why I'm getting back up. Wherever you are today, I promise you, I promise you, you're more than you think you are. I promise you, you're more than anything anybody's ever said about you. I promise you, you are more than you think you can be. You just gotta get back up. Okay, everybody, it's about 10 a.m. I've been working. I took a, a little bit of time before I started working. I got cleaned up and everything. And what I've decided today is typically I would go do, um, you know, like a incline uh, treadmill, workout today, but my wife is off, my family's off, and I have a lot that I want to address today. So I think instead of having to do something where I'm going to get all sweaty and have to get cleaned up again before rushing to the church, I got to be at the church at five. I'm probably just going to do a walk this afternoon so that I can kind of round out what 75 heart is because I won't really have a chance um, once I leave for the church. I'll be back home late and that'll kind of end the day. And there's just a lot that I think I want to address and I want to talk about and also to potentially give me a little bit of time um, to spend with my wife. So that's, uh, that's what I'm going to do. Today I'm getting a lot of work done because it's not actually a holiday for me and with my company, but my, I work with a lot of Canadians and they get the holiday off. So most of the people that I interact with day in and day out are off today. So I'm not getting bombarded by m messages or emails or anything. And I've been able to just kind of focus in and do some good meaningful work. Um, and it's like, I would love to be off today as well, but I also kind of relish those days where I get the opportunity to just kind of dive in and work. So 
I'm going to continue working. I probably will cut out a little bit early today because I did, you know, stay late a couple times this week. Um, and like I say, try to go get that walk in with my wife. So catch up in a bit. Oh, yeah. Got my half gallon of water here with my electrolytes and my uh, creatine in it. I know I didn't show it, but yeah, I'm still drinking my water, y'all. I'm counting down the seconds. <laughs> okay, I can break my fast now. I'm so hungry. Oh my gosh. Here we go. Uh, lunch of champions, y'all. Two caramel rice cakes, unsalted natural peanut butter, sugar-free dark chocolate chips, three beef sticks, not the best, I know, and a 42-gram protein shake, which is so delicious. Okay, you guys, it's about 2.30 now, and I'm going to call it a day. And uh, I think I'm going to try to lay down and take a little nap. And then at about 3 o'clock, I'm going to go out and I'm going to try to get the second workout done. All right, y'all, my woman, my woman finally got back home. Mm -hmm. So uh, she did agree to go on the walk with me, and I thought that would just be a nice way to round this out, you know? Because I have quite a few things I want to talk about and I think I'll get her perspective on oh, some of it too. Lord. See, she's excited about that. She likes that a lot. Um, so yeah, so we're going to head down to the park and we are going to get this final workout of 75 hard. Just a super lame walk out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's probably not coming through because I got this little wind muff on the mic, but there's a lot of wind right here. <laughs> if I had any hair, y'all would see. It would be blowing. Your beard's not like... Yeah, well, I put some product in my beard to make it look beautiful. Okay, so like I talked about earlier, this is really kind of my last chance to share my thoughts on how I feel this 75 days is gone. I am planning to still do one additional video after this one where I'll summarize the entire experience and I completed 75 hard for a second time type video. And uh, in that, I'll also this weekend, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna weigh in on the body scanner, see what my final body fat percentage loss was. I'll do the Zozo suit again. So I'm gonna do all that. It won't be in today's video but it'll be in my recap video that'll be coming after this. But with that said, um, you know, a couple thoughts that I have. First and foremost, I've gained, you know, uh, uh, for me, a lot of subscribers at this point right now, you know, I've gained like 25 subscribers over the past 30 days or something like that. And I'm just curious if you're one of those people who subscribe because you saw this video series why? <laughs> what was it about this series that compelled you to subscribe? Was it that you are doing 75 hard yourself and it was just helpful to follow somebody else who was kind of doing it? Or was it that you were drawn to just my style of it and maybe, you know, the inspiration I tried to bring to what I was doing? Was it that you were drawn more to my personality? What was it? You know, I don't know. I'm really curious and I hope that, you know, if you see this, you'll take the time to comment below and let me know because it could really help me understand um, what I should possibly attempt, you know, in the future because I have a lot of ideas. I have a lot of things that I really want to do. I really want to go out and document running some really hard obstacle course races because I think those are just a really fun, you know, time. I've got, you know, goals. I want to run another marathon. I want to try it and do it to do it in under four hours. You know, that's a big goal of mine. And then ultimately, I want to try to run an ultra, ultra marathon. And I've got a lot of work to do to get there. But I also have these other ideas of uh, you know, like 30 day challenges where maybe I do um, daily vlogs again. But is it the daily vlog format or is it just kind of summing it all up into one condensed video? 
what is it? You know, <laughs> what are you interested in? Um, because it'll play a big part in where I go from here. Oh shoot, that was almost real bad. Thank God for Apple Watch. It detected that I was doing an outdoor walk and was like, hey, do you want to record this? I forgot to start the workout, y'all. Uh, so fortunately it went back and I, I don't know if it caught all of it, but. I think so, because the mine was like yeah. 16.40 and I started a little late and just went to 17. Well, regardless, we're at 18 minutes now, so we'll see. <laughs> so over the course of this 75 days, there are some things that I think I did really well. There's other things that I think I started out doing really well and then maybe kind of tapered off. And there's other things I think I improved on throughout. So nutrition is one of those where I feel like I started out better than I've ended. Um, not in the sense that I haven't been eating a bunch of crap or anything like that, but I was much more prepared in the beginning. I had better lunches. We had boiled eggs and stuff like that. And um, we were, we were more on top of our food prep and that became a little bit more chaotic, you know, as time went on. Not always because we were just choosing not to food prep, but just life got more chaotic as we were coming out of winter. And, uh, you know, when you're trying to track your calories and macros and everything and you don't plan ahead, you set yourself up for failure there. And I definitely had some nutritional days in the beginning where I was way too low in calories. And then, you know, other times here towards the end where I was too high in calories. And that was just through a lack of preparation and planning. So learned a lot there. Know that my key to success is definitely taking the time to plan out my meals, have them ready to go. Um, and I hope to do better on that over the next 30 days. Workouts is one area where I feel like I actually got better over time. Buying that functional trainer was huge. Um, honestly, now this has been the longest that I've ever consistently strength trained and uh, uh, like I, I feel it and I'm starting to see it in my body as well. Um, even though I'm not yet ready to take my shirt off in front of anybody or anything like that, like I feel confident that if I keep working hard and doing what I'm doing, that goal that I have to one day do that, you know, to stand in that moment where it's like, okay, here I am. Um, for the first time in my life, I think I'm going to reach that. I think I'm going to hit that. And the functional trainer was a, a huge part of that. So that was a big investment. You know, it was kind of one of those things where like, oh man, are you really going to spend this much money when we have these other things that we definitely could have used the money on, you know, but in that moment, I was so serious about the transformation and the commitment that we were making, you know, and I'm proud to say that up to this point, you know, to the end of the program, we've definitely stuck with that commitment and I don't intend to stop. Um, so I think that that was a really, really good investment that took my workouts to the next level. Also, um, I think as evidenced by the run this morning, that even though if you look back on the series, you see, you know, I did a lot of these zone two runs and, you know, even a lot of walks, but I've progressed as far as my cardiovascular conditioning further than I ever did the first time that I was going out and running hundreds of miles a month. So I think that that says that I trained much smarter this time around overall. You know, that, that zone two training, it, it can feel like, man, I'm just like, it can almost make you feel like you're not giving your all, I guess. Um, it's very difficult to slow down like that and to taper off. But, you know, look at, look at what I did. I increased my 5K speed from day one to today by like, what, 18 minutes? You know, 18 minutes, that's nuts, y'all. Um, and you saw what I did every step of the way. So I feel like I did train much smarter and I did that better this time around. You know, another thing that I went into this round 
with was the learnings that I had from my first round. And one of those was I didn't take in the, the electrolytes. And I talked a lot about that early on, but that's something that I've done consistently every day as I've drank this water. And I've not, I think throughout the whole course of the 75 days, I've maybe had one headache that, that I can remember. Um, and for me, for anybody who knows me and knows how frequently I get headaches, she can say, <laughs> for me only having one headache over this span of time, that's, that's massive, you know? And I, I think that that has to do with a couple of things. I know that I've got a lot less inflammation in my body because of the way that I've been eating, you know? No sugar, right? <laughs> like eating super clean, but I also think just being properly hydrated now with a gallon of water every day and, as I found out, you know, a while back, I've been drinking way more than a gallon, but with a gallon of water every day and then taking in those electrolytes, that was a really good move. Overall, I mean, I've, I've felt good. The water was a major struggle in the beginning, but now, um, honestly, I plan to continue it because I went from drinking so many like uh, zero sugar, you know, sodas and stuff like that to now just drinking water primarily. And I've really, really limited how many sodas I'll allow myself to drink over this time. But I think I'm gonna give myself a little bit more leeway there, you know? I, maybe I'll drink, you know, one a day at the very most. Um, but I think that's okay because it, it, it almost feels like a treat as well. Um, it can help with satiety, you know, whenever I'm hungry and, and it just tastes good, you know? It feels like something that I'm not supposed to have, but for sure, I won't allow myself to drink any more than one a day, where before I was literally drinking maybe six, you know, a day. It was like the only thing I drank, that and coffee. So that's been a massive improvement. And then the last thing that I think has been massive for me this time around was going to the extreme and deleting all of my social media even, you know, the sites I'd go to just to browse news where people could provide comments and stuff like that. So it was like a social aspect of news. I would go on there and I would read, you know, wrestling rumors or gaming news or whatever. Um, and I deleted all of that, you know? Like I've had nothing. And uh, I just think that for my mental health and for my productivity and for what I pour my time into, that has just been massive. And as of today, as of right now, I, I don't have any intent to, to go back um, to any of that. I do have that one social media post that I'm gonna make one day. And that's where I reintroduce myself back to the world. And it's that shirtless photo. It's coming, I'm telling you, that one's gonna come. But outside of that, I really don't have any, any desire for it. If I could find a way to self-regulate and control myself a little better so that I wouldn't end up um, doom scrolling, you know, and just being affected and bombarded by all the things being thrown at me. There's parts of it that I do miss, you know, I miss the connection with people and everything, but honestly, I'm at a point right now where I know myself well enough to know that I, I, I'm not strong enough to regulate that. Um, so I think just removing it from my life is the best is the best thing for me right now. Again, my purpose this year was to create more and consume less. And I think so far, I'm doing a pretty freaking good job at that, <laughs> you know? Um, I've made videos every single day and I've edited and I've, you know, I've poured myself into um, productive things and I wanna continue that, see what I can do for the rest of this year. Now, <laughs> As one other teaser to give you a reason to come back and watch the recap video, I do think it will be fun tomorrow to log on to my Facebook account and just see how many notifications I have. Um, uh, because again, I mean, I have not, I've not looked at it at all. And I just think that that would be funny to see. So maybe I'll do that and show y'all as part of the recap, how many notifications I racked up and if I missed anything really important or significant over 75 days. And so I guess the last thought that I'll leave you with is what does tomorrow look like? 
Well, I think that there is a whole lot of tomorrow that looks very much the same as what you've seen for these past 75 days. I don't know that I'll wake up at 5 a.m. because it'll be Saturday and my first day of not doing 75 hard, but I'm gonna wake up early enough to do my morning routine the same way that I've been doing it. So that means reading my Bible, continuing to read um, my 10 pages, um, doing my journaling, doing my Duolingo, all of that will look the same. Then I think over the next week, I'm gonna give my body a chance to kind of recover some. So I may only do like one hour long walk or something, you know, low intensity um, over, the next, over the next week, just to give my, my body a chance to recover. Tomorrow we do have a family gathering, and at that family gathering, um, there's gonna be food and stuff there. And I plan to eat whatever's there within reason, um, but I also still want to be mindful of my calories and everything, because again, I'm in this transformer challenge, so I'm not gonna go crazy, but I am gonna give myself a couple, you know, a couple treats. I guess. So this weekend and then next weekend is WrestleMania and I'm for sure just going to enjoy WrestleMania, you know, and eat whatever. But through the course of the next week, even whenever I'm kind of letting my body recover a little bit, I plan to track my calories. I plan to eat well. Everything, you know, everything's going to look pretty much the same. And then what I plan to do going forward is to do checkpoint check-ins. So I want to do one month after 75 hard, what has lasted, what is stuck, what am I still doing? Six months after 75 hard, you know, a year after 75 hard. And just kind of let you know what I've been able to maintain in my life and what has become habit. Because the first time that I did this, I actually did 75 hard, you know, after I completed it, I continued it to like day 130 or something like that before I ended up going through some stuff and falling into a, a, a really bad depression, you know? Um, so praying that things will be different this time and that the, the habits that I've formed will stick the same way that they did the first time around. And um, I'll make sure to keep you all updated on all of that. And then, you know, just a little further out, what do I hope to accomplish now that 75 hard is over? I've still got 30 videos to edit for this series, y'all. <laughs> I've still got a lot of editing time in front of me. So that's essentially 30 hours of editing just to complete my 75 hard series. Um, so I've got a lot of editing time in front of me. Um, I have a lot of things like I've talked about in previous videos where I've just gotten behind you know, because if you've seen, you know, I mean, she can say there, there are days I just go from, you know, one thing to the next, to the next, to the next, to the next. And I may get a little bit of time in the evening. You know, I'm talking a little bit of time in the evening to sit down and relax, you know, but most weekdays is just one, one thing after the other. Um, so I've gotten behind in a lot of things and I need to get caught up on a lot of those things. Um, and then you know, 75 hard does come at a cost, I would say. I have tried to still make time to spend time with my family, spend time with my kids and stuff, but it hasn't been as much as I'd like. Um, I, I want to spend more time with my kids. I want to take time to just, you know, play video games with my son, you know. That's something that we've been trying to do for a while now, and I've never been able to kind of make the time, you know, because the only time I'd have to play video games is on the treadmill and <laughs> you know um, so I want to spend some more time with them and that's another reason I don't want to go back to social media because I don't want my time wasted on uh, oh hold on hold on <laughs> look at this there's a little alligator right there can y'all see that <laughs> <laughs> Never seen an alligator in the ditch. <laughs> Sorry, 
when my wife points out an alligator, we gotta we gotta talk about it. Uh, but uh, but anyway, that's another reason that I don't want to go back to social media because I don't trust my ability to regulate the time I pour into it. And now that I'm not going to be doing 75 hard, or at least the filming part of it and everything, um, hopefully I get a little bit more time back in my day. And instead of pouring my time into something that's just a meaningless time sink like social media, I'd rather that time be spent with my kids, you know, and doing, doing something meaningful like that. Okay, and now because I told her, and I don't want her to be sad that I didn't do it, you know, because I said it on the way here. Let's get, let's get Dawn's perspective. So, first question. Do you notice any difference in me from when I started 75 hard to now? Any difference physically? Obviously, sure. you're smaller. Um, you're more energetic. See, getting out for walks and stuff. That's, that's always good. Um, of course, you're faster 5K. I don't, I'm not really sure what. <laughs> well, okay, let's just start with physically. You said I'm smaller. What does that mean? Well, you lost weight. You heard it here first, folks. <laughs> <laughs> but is it noticeable? Yes. Yes. They could probably hear you anyway. <laughs> um, so she said I'm more energetic. Um, uh, pretty sure y'all probably couldn't hear it because I think there was a big wind noise, but she said I'm sexier. Her, <laughs> her words, not mine, but of yeah, there, it, some of what she said was really inappropriate. Actually, I can't even repeat it, but, um, so, um, what, from your perspective, what do you think was the hardest for me during this round of 75 hard? Uh, well, obviously the water, because you said that a billion times about how you hated all the water. Um, most difficult, probably the sodas, cause you were drinking a lot of those. And I guess that goes in with the water. Um, I know, oh, the time crunch. You know, trying to fit everything in your day. That was hard. And the two workouts, three hours apart, yeah. one being outside. Um, other than that, I feel like you made everything else look easy. So essentially, she said every part of 75 hard was the hardest for me, but I made everything else look easy. <laughs> Thanks, babe. You're welcome. <laughs> All right. We're getting close and my battery's going to die. I'll catch you at the end. All right, guys, I'm cleaned up and I am... Full. I was not able to eat my entire dinner, so I only ate about five ounces of chicken and about a cup of white rice. Going to be a little low on calories today, but uh, I, yeah, I just couldn't get it down, um, and I didn't want to go into this performance tonight feeling super stuffed, so I'm headed to the church. I'll add in a little clip of the performance here, uh, here after all this is said and done, but it's about 4.45 now, and it'll probably be 9.00 or after nine or so before I check back in with you. So we'll see you in a bit. He has spoken blasphemy. Why do we need any more witnesses? Look, now you have heard the blasphemy. What do you think? He is worthy of death. They answered. Then they spit in Jesus' face and struck him with their fist. Well, my friends, it is 11.08 and we just got back in. So the performance went really well. Um, after the performance, um, a couple of the people that you saw in that little clip there, uh, the woman, the blonde haired woman to the right, that's one of my best friends, Summer, and then the dark haired woman um, uh, who was right next to me, that is one of my best friends, Mickey. And we all went out to eat afterwards. So we went out to Chili's and I wasn't intending to eat, but they all wanted to go out after the performance. And I ended up having the fajita trio. So shrimp, grilled chicken and beef fajita. Um, and I did have a couple of corn tortillas with that. So got all that um, logged on my fitness pal. But 
yeah, it was just a really good time, really good time with friends and great way to cap it all off. And I'm now at the end of day 75. So let's go ahead and close this thing out. So here's how we did on day 75. Move calories, 1,469, 113 exercise minutes, 18,218 steps. There are our workouts that we did. I don't remember if I showed y'all the outdoor walk earlier. 49 minutes, 2.77 miles, 307 active calories, 411 calories. So yeah, you can see how many steps I put in you know, throughout the day as well. That's huge. My fitness pal came in around 22, 24 calories because like I say, I did eat half of my regular dinner with my rice and chicken. And then I had the fajita trio um, at tree, at Chili's and this is without tortillas or condiments, but I did have two corn tortillas. So I added those there. Um, I real Oh, and that's the other thing y'all. So the reason I was able to go out and eat is because I realized I don't have to fast tomorrow. So I am going to end this fast um, and uh, start a new one because I had started my fast earlier in the day. So now I am going to start a new fast once this thing resets. And then I don't care if I hit my fasting window or not. I'll still aim for 16 hours tomorrow, but I really don't care. I don't, I don't. I don't have to do it. That was part of what I was doing for 75 hard. Uh, last but not least, let's come out here and let's make day 75 official, y'all. Here it is. 45-minute outdoor workout. First workout. Um, read my 10 pages first thing this morning. I did take my Project Rest picture. There's my second half gallon of water right there. Followed my diet. No cheat meals or social media because I don't drink alcohol. And here it goes for day 75. It's complete. Just like that. And with day 75 complete, now I have the option to start phase one. Okay, I know I've talked a lot in this video. If you're still here, let me just say, man... Thank you so much. Um, it's It's been an awesome journey. I'm really glad I did it. I'm really glad that I documented it. I'm really glad that I took it all on again. Um, I'm in much better shape. I feel healthier. I feel like I've got a lot of habits that are going to stick with me. Um, and it's just been it's just been a great experience. You know, it wasn't all fun throughout the whole thing. Some days were better than others, but now at the end of it, I'm definitely thankful I did it. And I would just encourage you that if this is something you've been wanting to do, you know, watch my videos, see what I learned throughout mine, prepare yourself for it, set yourself up for success and then commit and then commit to it. You can do it y'all. You've seen how average and how ordinary I am. Um, the only thing that I have is I was determined and that's it, you know, and if you're determined, I promise you, you can do this as well. Um, you probably do it better than I did it, you know? So with all that said, it, this has been a, a great journey. It's been a great chapter. Uh, I'm excited for, you know, the followers I gained throughout this journey, but I'm not done. This is just, you know, this chapter closes and it's the beginning of a new one. So I hope that you'll stick around for that and stay tuned in as I post the full recap of my second round of 75 hard. I guess I don't have anything else to say other than uh, thank you for going on this journey with me. I'll see you soon.